Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Okay, so today we're back on the south coast of New South Wales heading out for another vlog, uh, out for another sunrise. I'm actually on my way out, it's very early. It's a good hour or so before sunrise at the moment. Uh, I'm heading out to meet up with uh, a, a bloke called Peter who's a, another local photographer that I know and he's promised to take me to a place I've never been before, a place I've uh, wanted to go for quite some time. So uh, we've got a little bit of a a little bit of a bush bash and a, and a bit of a climb uh, to get to this location that we're headed out to this morning. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a good spot. I've never been there before, so I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride, make another video, and. Uh, get into some uh, seascape photography. The location from images I've seen of it is a really stunning looking location. So um, some great big rock formations and uh, very iconic or very, um, I guess, um, well known. Well, I wouldn't say well known, but certainly a place that looks very cool. There's a big tree coming out of a, a big rock on the headland there. So um, pretty nice looking spot. So I'm going to have a bit of a bush bash this morning then we've got to climb down some rocks and uh, hopefully we can uh, catch up with you when we get there and uh, get some good images. Well g'day guys we've uh, made it down here to the big rock you can probably see it here behind me. Bit of a scramble to get down here but it uh, wasn't too bad. Um, only one little injury bit of bark off my leg that's all good uh, stunning spot absolutely worth the uh, the effort to get down here an absolutely cracking seascape location so uh, you can see this big uh, sea stack behind me with a tree on the top it's actually quite big it's probably how high would that be Peter 40 meters probably yeah it's it's quite a big sea stack so there's some nice uh, there's some nice uh, textures in the rocks here in front of us, so I'm going to uh, get my camera out, try and get some shots. There's a lot of cloud out uh, on the horizon, which I think unfortunately might block out our uh, our sunrise, but we'll see how we go. Stunning spot. Uh, if I get one image that's half okay, I'll be happy. So I'll get the camera out and get set up, try and find a composition and um, see what we can come up with. Okay guys, just going to have a bit of a wander around here, see what I can find. Because I've never been here before, um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to shoot just yet, but we'll work something out as we have a look around. Just watching out for these rocks. Peter tells me they can be a bit slippery, so just take it easy. Pretty obvious shot here in front of me, I think. Might just grab that as my banker shot which will just be the keeper shot you put in the bank, you know. Just get that shot. Whenever you get to a new 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 location, it's always good just to grab a, just get a shot, just get one in the bank. I just dropped my bloody camera. That didn't go well. Ouch. She's all right. That wasn't ideal. <laughs> Crikey's. I don't even know how I did that, but anyway.
Okay, I'm just taking a couple of simple shots here, just get a couple of shots in the bank. I'm at f11, 15 seconds. Uh, I've got a pretty nice composition framed up here, actually. This is uh, one of those locations where it's probably, it's hard to take a bad shot. There's a big wave coming in here now, so I want to shoot this as this water rolls in. I'll just grab this frame. It's probably going to be about a 15 second shot. I'll just get a couple of shots in the bank, as I said, and then I'm going to sort of move around a bit and experiment with um, a few different compositions, a bit of water flow. Uh, there's not a bunch of colour in the sky this morning, so um, we just have to make do with what we've got. Uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, I'm just trying to find another composition here. Probably gonna get wet feet, get down in these rocks here. Just down here, handheld at the moment. See what I can come up with. I don't mind this spot, it's uh, a little bit further back from the big rock, so it gives you a little bit more foreground. Just gotta balance the uh, foreground here. And I think we can get a pretty good shot. Actually just taking a couple of handhelds here at the moment. The beauty of the Canon R5 is the... Uh, The ability to shoot slower shutter speed handheld. sets here just keep shooting keep shooting it's a little bit of pink in the sky there now so that's not too bad Nice light rays out there, Peter. Yeah. Back over here, some big waves.
Have you seen this thing, the atoll? No. So you just turn it. Oh, okay. You can just oh, go. It goes on the lens, does it? Looks where the lens actually is. goes on the front of the camera. Yeah. So does the lens go through it? Do you need yeah. an adapter or something? I looked at them and I thought, oh yeah, they must be like a... It actually mounts there on the camera, and this thing here is just all part of it. You can still take your lens on and off. Oh, okay. So this goes inside of it. Yeah, you can still put all your... Um, I thought you must have had to have like certain models for certain cameras. Uh, there's different ones. There's about four or five different ones for different cameras. What do you got, a D850? Yeah. Yeah, they make one for DSLRs, which will fit that. Um, this one's for the uh, your mirrorless. Oh, it's a good bit of gear. You just loosen that thing on the side, but it's actually got little stoppers. So when it gets to the vertical position, it sort of lock, it sort of stops. And the same when it gets back there, it just sort of yeah, it's good. that just about wraps up today's video um, you may have seen some images by now if not I'll show you what I've got um, it was an amazing light this morning but it was pretty soft there was a little bit of a few tinges of pink in the sky uh, not too long ago like probably about 15 minutes after sunrise but pretty soft light all in all and just an incredible spot um, absolutely beautiful world-class seascape this location so um, yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video I might uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just run a bit of footage on my way out of here. We've got to climb up a, a cliff and a bit of a, a bush bash to get out. Um, just so you can see the, the effort that we go to sometimes to get to these places. But uh, as I always say in my videos, please do me a big favour. Um, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, let me know what you thought of the images as well. And uh, also, thanks very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you like my content, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's about it for me. I'm going to sign off now. Uh, take care, and uh, we'll see you again soon. See you later. These shoes are a bit slippery, but I should be right, I think. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Bags caught. That used to be the road to up and down. Nearly there.
Thank you.